In disgusting conditions for years dealing with roaches, rats, and severe cases of mold. Well, now some who lived in the Lake Arbor apartments are close to getting a big payout. Fox 46's Morgan Francis live at the apartment complex tonight, which has now undergone some renovations. So since we first told you about these issues back in 2018. Yeah, Brian, our investigations led to a class action lawsuit against the landlord for those deplorable living conditions. Two and a half years later, a new company owns this complex. They're in the process of gutting it and getting in new tenants. And the people who used to live here have reached a settlement. Today, you wouldn't even recognize a place once known as Lake Arbor Apartments. I'm going to try to clean this crap out so my toilet will at least flush. Just years ago, Fox 46 discovered sickly living conditions. There's a dead rat. Here's your proof. Tenants dealt with rats, roaches, and mold. They claimed the landlords hounded people for rent but refused to fix serious problems. They have maintenance people that don't give a crap about the people over here. Their frustration was unmeasurable. I'm sick sick and tired of being sick and tired. Now Lake Arbor is paying up. Agreed to pay $547,500, and that money is going to be divided um, based on damages to about approximately 100 people. The two parties reached a settlement of half a million dollars. Potentially 97 former tenants will get a piece of the pie. It's about time. Uh, that it's good that in some ways these landlords um, are being held accountable and having to pay something. People will recover one to two grand on the low end and 11 to 12,000 on the high end. Although this may now seem like a closed case, the people over at Action NC who started this grassroots effort to help tenants say there's more work to be done. There are people, more people that definitely need to benefit from this one. And there are other issues that need to be addressed and we plan on still pushing forward for that. Back at the old complex, Nova Ridge is trying to change more than a reputation. In April, URS Capital Partners purchased the place for $14 million and is pouring $8.8 .8 million into renovating 288 units. So what's next? The court will have to approve the class in the lawsuit, and then those people will be able to get their money. Those who think they are eligible for compensation can still join the lawsuit. We have more information on how on Fox46.com. Reporting live in West Charlotte, I'm Morgan Francis, Fox 46. What a relief for all those residents.